They have opened up this ice cream store called Zero And. One of the stairs that cracked down. Obviously, it's just a quiet atmosphere and especially in the dark. You get a feeling that, hey, you got yelled at or thought, taught off. Rather remarkable, huh? Why didn't we get to see one of those at the time that we went to the convention center? And done right, like you order whatever you wanted. The food court that I went the other day and hello guys already my third trip around the mall for this week and look it's the start of a new era they have opened up this ice cream store called zero and by the way it's not only ice cream can also get fruit juice as well as coffee and all the other stuff that you can get at starbucks like here you got great fruit spa so yeah, that's grapefruit juice over here. And yeah, obviously it's just started working earlier this week. The only difference between that and Zero End is the stuff that you get at Zero End are zero calories. So if you're on a diet, then it's actually worth it to check it out. Whereas for example, a caramel frap at Starbucks would be about 160 calories. All the items that they got at zero end are sugar free. And so they had opened it around the end of last week. And this week they've done the first bits of work in that store. Just realized one crazy thing with this escalator. So it is out of service right now. It's not functioning. Everything has stopped. The machine has stopped with this escalator. So obviously there is no other option but to walk up there. It's really insane. But all of the escalators inside this store have stopped working. I have no idea why that is. And one of them is under repair currently. So I left the mall about 15 minutes ago. And special. We have found an open house in this neighborhood. So let's see what it's like. Oh. Well, there's a sign. Okay. So it takes you up the stairs and that shall be. And there we go. So if you take a step out here. Oh my God. Look at that. I, for a second, I thought this was just a balcony, but you can see the whole stairway through there. But let's check the inside of it. And yeah, a bedroom right there. What is supposed to be a bedroom and Yes, our neighborhood is right next door, so that's a close view from here. So that was like four or five times worth it for sure. And yeah, from outside of the house and check this out. You got these chimes here, just similar to the ones that we have at our house. Ah, the thing is that you don't get to hear the noise of these chimes as well as you would usually do so even though the wind blows like insane like it was at the beginning of this week obviously those are some sort of different types of chimes so that was the first time believe it or not in 69 days that i actually got to do a vlog while checking an open house well sometimes it turns out to be a slice of pizza a piece of cake whenever you get into an empty room and you get an echo there's literally an empty space in that room like you're in the middle of a dungeon where there's not even a piece of a broken mirror or a ladder that one of the stairs that cracked down obviously it's just a quiet atmosphere and especially in the dark you can feel like it's more than just a curse of a broken mirror whenever you try to find a way out of area 51 it's like you shall not pass area 51 that sort of thing but this time it wasn't quite like that so yeah it's nearly dusk it's five o'clock and look at what the hell has happened here another road crack like something like that happened a few months ago i went out in the daytime and I'm like, how the hell did that happen? And then the next day they closed some of that road to do road work to solve the problems. Obviously the entrance of the neighborhood next to us was closed 
for a few hours. Got back from Starbucks and damn, it is already very cold outside. And in the middle of November, I jumped in the pool and the next day I got punished with a cold and I've been dealing it for a day or two. And, and that's just elephant shit, you know? Why just get in the pool and swim like you're enjoying a day drinking cocktail under the sunshine and then get constipated. Anyway, so it's been a productive Saturday, this one. I just came back from Starbucks and I, whenever we went shopping, we have found something really, really interesting. So we went into this store where there's a mix of Nike, Puma and Champion. And as well, a selection of Lakers jerseys. Again, in the colors of purple, white, yellow, which is the main color that they come in. And like the one that I got the other day, mainly they got LeBron James uniforms there. But the one I got myself today, look, apparently this is a swimming suit, all right? Usually this would be 60 bucks and they're all in 70% discount right now. So this is the blazer swimming suit that I got. And this comes in two colors. It's still in stock and it comes in two colors. There's this one also comes in white, but the blaze pattern, this one would come in gunmetal and black in the gradient of these colors. But I can see the red and yellow on this one. Yeah, you can tell that's a pretty fierce pattern. You can see the back pocket over there. Well, I don't know. It's just very, very detailed. And I would, it's not like I'm doing a midwinter haul. Yeah, so this is just a review of these blaze swim shorts go check it out on nike you'll see it come up when you see that it comes in two different colors but as well with this hat that i got the other day from 47 yeah the lakers hat so yeah go check on the 47 brand and you'll see these hats it comes in different colors as well just like the jerseys and it comes in many other stuff that have a lot to do with the culture and the impression of what sport is like here in the US. Like whatever is on the hat, like when you go to 47 and you check that out and whatever is on the hat from whatever sport, which any one of them can have a lot to do with the culture over here, right? And you get into the game and you hear the temperamental atmosphere whenever a certain noise appears that gives a sign that you're getting threatened, like you're being checkmated in chess or whatever. It's that kind of a sport. Anyway, so yeah, I did the hat in a swimsuit review. Now for dinner time. And there's my guys once again. <laughs> Just like I'm talking to a hero from Batman movie. But yeah, at the beginning of yesterday, we had to send the Mercedes E320 to the repair store. And the reason of that was when I tried to turn the temperature gauge down, I tried to cool it down when we were coming back. Guess number here. 76, please. Guess number 76. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sorry, that was obviously two staff members. And like, honestly, you get this feeling that when somebody who works for a place catches you, then you get a feeling that, hey, you like yelled at or thought, thought off for like when any of you try to do a vlog. I think they call it the hair dryer effect. When they yell right into your face, like for example, when you get punished, you might get into a timeout. And when you get the, well, some as well call it the hair dryer treatment. And when you get the hair dryer treatment, obviously I'm just talking arbitrary stuff, but that's why I call it. That's when you get the expression that whoever you're getting yelled at, he's pulling a target right at you but yeah what i got distracted was when they were making an announcement saying hey the order is here so yeah i already ordered mine about five minutes ago man if this was during the daytime then this would be a perfect view well just out of that blue car but either way so obviously those guys like after the announcement was made i was talking about the hair dryer treatment rather remarkable huh why didn't we get to see one of those at the time that we went to the convention center near Crypto Arena when all the beauty of the cars were being displayed 
during this auto show event. And yeah, I have saw one of these about a few weeks ago when I was heading to the fitness center, but that was in blue. Obviously that came out to be a blue Lucid. This one's in silver though. So that's obviously one other way that you can present this as the quality of the cars, the beauty of the cars that you got in any sort of auto show, just like the one that we had went once in the convention center in LA. Anyway, so it was truly an extraordinary day at in and out After I was talking about that hair dry treatment, you know, the announce was being made. The time that you get that announce saying, hey, your order is ready. They grab the mic and make that exclamation. Just like a bit when they do at the airport, when they give an exclamation saying, this is the last call before the gates shut down before departure, things like that. But yeah, after the exclamation, it's not something I would take personally, but it was extraordinary. It was an extraordinary day at in and out So there's this guy that just makes sure that the order has been done right. Like you order whatever you wanted. The food court that I went the other day and wherever I had, I think I had it at Philly Steak and the workers over there were just no good so i was kind of mad at this point and they made a lot of mistakes like absolutely no effort and they made a lot of mistakes and i think like what is the mentality of that kind of a worker whatsoever but today was just a bit more sentimental like when my order was cold oh another point that made me say why did not we why did we not get to see one of these at the auto show or if we were to see an ad like that on one of the quiz shows like when you get a quiz and all that stuff but either way so yeah you get into and you know, out and it's nothing that you would see in a car factory you sit down and one of the guys rather than being just somebody who works in the restaurant he even appears to be like an assistant and obviously that is what I have experienced for the first time. Someone that makes sure that everything is 100%. All right, obviously there is none of all of this in Taco Bell, it's really, really empty. And yeah, you can tell from all the experiences I had here in the previous vlogs, but yeah, an entertaining story. After I had to turn the video off, like, after the announcement was made, I talked a little bit more and I had to turn the video off and I'm like, hey, are you doing some sort of project where you're feeling your life? That's not what he actually said, but actually it gave me an impression thinking, hey, that guy is just an assistant. It gives you that expression of saying, hey, why don't I record this extraordinary experience of my life, either in a video and I can make a document about it or even a presentation about it something that is like one in ten thousand but either way i could even present this when i'm in a conference meeting a bit like the presentation i did three years ago and i tell you what it has been three years exactly three years three years ago today i was in a conference room which me and some other students that were doing a lot of work on this careers fair preparation, which obviously did not take place on the day that it was meant to, just for an extraordinary reason. And it was erratic. We didn't even see it coming. We planned a lot for that and it didn't happen. But just to continue with the story, when my order was called, instead of the workers using the mic, obviously the assistant, that whatever so does instead of just being in that profession of being somebody that works in the cashier's role apparently he saluted me and i'm like hello is that me and then he waved the hand at me say yes like that's me is that me who is there knock knock when you're ringing the door and he's saying oh hey is that you something like that that kind of a feeling that you haven't seen your friends for like four months all right, guys, so I'm going to round off the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really hoping that you enjoyed this video, and I will see you tomorrow.